Camshafts are an easy swap, but failure to check piston to valve clearance can lead to disaster. Here's how to check them. Two minute tech. It'll be easier thanks to this two piece timing cover that allows us to make the swap without removing the oil pan. If your engine's in the car, think of how convenient that would be. The cam that's coming out is a comp Big Mother Thumper roller that helped this engine make 470 horsepower on the dyno last time. With the work we've done, this comp Magnum series should be an improvement with a little more lift and duration. Lobe separation is 110 compared to the other cams 107, which means less overlap. We're going to reinstall the timing set, but not the cover for now. That's because with about 50 thousandths more lift, we need to check piston to valve clearance. The good old fashioned way is to clean one of the piston faces, then put clay into the piston's valve pockets, add a little oil to keep the clay from sticking to the valves, and with the gasket on, snug down the head. With every cam swap, check your lifters. These originals would bind at full lift with fatal results. Quick fix, a set of comps OE style. Next, a pair of push rods and rocker arms set to zero lash. After turning the engine over several times, we can now remove the heads. Cut away a small piece of clay near the area you want to check. Using a set of dial calipers, we first check the depth of the valve drop, which is well within the safe zone. Then check the radial, and at 170 thousandths, we're well within the safe range. Another detail we don't want to overlook, since we used sealer last time, we have to clean out these bolt holes to get an accurate torque reading. With the timing cover back in place, I'm going to check the new cam's end plate. First zero of the dial indicator, move the cam, and at 18 thousandths, we're within a 10 to 20 thousandths range. We're using a set of Felpro's Permatorque gaskets. Now these are designed for cylinder head swaps to correct minor irregularities. We're using the freshly cleaned ARP bolts coated with Loctite, head bolt, and water jacket sealant. After lashing the valves, everything we took off goes back on. Except for this new 750 carb from Summit. 